All right, good evening everyone. It is six o'clock and I'll call the 19th regular Common Council meeting to order. Will the clerks state the quote of the evening? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. Thank you. Will the clerk call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Excused. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Here. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Present. Alderperson Salazar. Excused. There are eight present. Thank you. Um, next is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Alder Decker, do you have a motion regarding the minutes from our last meeting? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I move to approve the minutes from the 18th regular council meeting held on December 18th, 2023. Second. Moved in, seconded. Questions on the minutes from our last meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor of approval of the minutes, state aye. 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 Any objections? Minutes are approved. City Clerk, anyone for public forum this evening? There is one person, Mr. Van Akron. All right. Jim, if you could state your name and address, please, and then you will have five minutes. Sure. Jim Van Akron, 432 Lincoln Avenue. Good evening and happy new year to you all. Um, as I believe you are aware, I am the chairperson of the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force, but for the most part, I speak tonight not on behalf of the task force, but as an individual. First, I'm speaking to you this evening about items 15, 16, and 18 on your agenda. These concern the purchase of a crawler excavator, a Quinton fire engine, and a bucket truck. It appears that all three of these vehicles are dieseled, diesel powered. As you may recall, I have encouraged you to think sustainably while making decisions such as the purchase of these vehicles. The sustainable way when using diesel vehicles is to use what is called biodiesel. Biodiesel in our area typically is derived from the oil of soybeans. According to the US Department of Energy, uh, using a life cycle analysis, B100 biodiesel uh, use reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 74% compared with petroleum diesel. We should seriously be planning to switch to biodiesel for our diesel engine fleets. Both our Director of Public Works and our City Administrator have in indicated to me that they are supportive of the use of biodiesel. The federal government uses biodiesel, bio including the Department of Defense. So my message to you is in making these purchases of these vehicles, you need, you need to discuss with city administration how we can fuel these vehicles using biodiesel. Item number 19 is the purchase of a lawnmower. This appears to be a gas powered. A more sustainable lawnmower would be electric powered. However, the electric power in the battery may not be sufficient for an entire day of mowing. So we need to explore the feasibility of swapping out batteries the ability to charge rapidly uh, or adjusting task schedules so that when battery power is low, an employee can do other tasks. We can also look at what areas might, need, might not need mowing. The Sustainability Task Force has asked for but has not yet received a map of the city of Sheboygan Green Space so we can do an assessment uh, to see if there are areas that we presently mow that do not need to be mowed or could be converted to a low maintenance natural landscape. Item 21 on your agenda concerns the development agreement and the use of ARPA funds for low income housing. In reviewing the packet regarding this agenda item, the city has not set its own sustainability standards. It is important that we begin doing so. Last time we, you met, uh, when discussing the Gartman Poth development, I suggested numerous things that should be considered to make a development sustainable. They are equally applicable here for the um, development of the uh, low income housing. Things such as the use of solar power. One important issue that I failed to mention last month in the Gartman Poth issue or uh, development 
was that we need to be thinking about at, on all these developments, installing level two charging stations for electric vehicles, or at least put in the infrastructure so that the ch ch charging stations could be easily installed. The Sustainability Task Force encourages the city to develop a comprehensive sustainability action plan. Many cities in our state already have one. With such a plan addressing the issues I addressed tonight would just be part of the process when we make these decisions on these purchases. As of yet, we do not see any action by the city administration or the council to create such a plan. Utilizing this, the sustainability vision statement we submitted last November, the task force is willing to work with all of you to create such a plan. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Van Akron. City Clerk, anyone else? No one this evening. All right, we'll jump into Mayor's announcements, just a few items. Well, first of all, Happy New Year, Happy 2024, everyone. Uh, I know that we are geared up and you'll see in some future agendas that we have a lot of uh, wonderful projects uh, that we'll be working on uh, coming down the pike here really quickly. Um, also, uh, DPW has announced that uh, Christmas tree pickup, so if you have a real tree, uh, please put that out on the corner um, and DPW will pick that up. Uh, also, it is property tax collection time, so uh, tax bills have been mailed out um, a few days ago. Um, the payments can be collected at City Hall here or Wisconsin Bacon Trust up until the 31st. Um, after the 31st, it will be collected uh, at the Sheboygan County Treasurer's Office and more information regarding property tax information can be found on the city's website. So those are all the uh, notes that I have for today. We'll jump into the consent agenda then, items seven through 10. Holder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Moved and seconded discussion on any consent agenda items. All right, seeing no cues, this will be a roll call vote. Alder Perella. Eight eyes. Those items are approved. Items 11 through 13 will be referred to the respective committees. Item 14 under resolutions. Resolution number 135-23-24 by Elder Persons Decker and Rust, authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the third amendment to operating agreement between City of Sheboygan and Power Pubs LLC. Elder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed with your motion. I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, seeing no cues, this is a roll call vote. Eight eyes. That's approved. Items 15 through 19 will be referred to their respective committees. Next. Item 20, reports of committees, RC number 168-23-24 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 126-23-24 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski, authorizing an agreement in the 2024 budget and directing the Finance Director to create a special revenue fund for the transfer of revenues and expenses to the city related to uptown social activities. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adapt the resolution. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, seeing no cues, this will be a roll call vote. Eight eyes. That item is approved. Next, RC number 169-23-24 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 127-23-24 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski, authorizing entering into a development agreement with Partners for Community Development and KG Development Group regarding an affordable housing project located on the corner of North 13th Street and Erie Avenue. Alder Mitchell. Move to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote.
Eight ayes. That's approved. Item 22 will be referred to the Finance Personnel Committee. Elder Decker, we've exhausted the agenda. What's the privilege of your motion? Thank you, Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor of adjourning, state aye. Aye. Any objection? We're adjourned at 610. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. What was that quickie? <laughs> Thank you.